overwhelming. Yeah. It, yeah. That's, that sums it all up in one word. It's overwhelming of all the concerns, the love, the support from every direction, from the military, the NYPD, family members, people that are here for him. It's just all overwhelming. It's just surreal. It's just unbelievable how people step up, if they're, even if they weren't called. Um, they're so willing to come out and support the family. It's just been awesome. Just the amount of support, I mean, just a, a rush of emotions, obviously, uh, you know, the sadness dealing with such a tragedy, but then, you know, seeing uh, everything come together and seeing all the people come together so positively and, you know, being there for the family. The family's been, you know, overwhelmed with the support as well as we all have, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just great to see, you know. Everybody's coming together to do the right thing. And so what was it like being out there uh, in New York for the funeral? Again, amazing. I mean, the police department, the fire department, the military, um, just the city of New York in general went above and beyond. Um, you know, anytime you shut down Times Square for an event, um, they're doing everything they can to show their support to the family, which is really cool. Anywhere you looked, the uh, procession for the, the wakes, we had two, and they maybe figured at least 10,000 came through for the, just the wake. And we had an estimate, not a positive, but somewhat estimate between 60 and 80,000. And the overpasses, they were full with fire trucks. Everybody saluted. People would fall off the highways and salute him as we went by. And it went that way clear out to the grave site. And there's just, it's just all beautiful. What what was it like knowing him, serving with him? I mean, he was he was a great guy. You know, I never complained. He was always down to you know to volunteer and and, uh, and do whatever he had to do to make things happen. Joe reached his goals at everything and anything he ever did. He took one step at a time, and he is now sitting on the top of the world. He was a big man with a big heart, and he was a gentleman, and they called him Superman. Yeah, well, that was his nickname with the guys he worked with in the NYPD, and uh, he kind of resembled Clark Kent a little bit. If you saw, he was a man of big stature. I mean, when he walked in a room, everybody knew who it was because he was a, he was a big fellow. He was just that type of guy willing to put himself into harm's way or whatever it took, you know. And it was kind of an easy nickname for him. And he is a Superman, and I'm not saying was because he is living on in all of our hearts and everywhere. If Joe was here, this is my thought of what he would say, what's the big deal? And it is a big deal because he was a big man and he, his heart is just out there to all the people.